Hey kids, Petaluma Pete here. Go get your adults and bring them to this screen because we are going to make an invitation to them and to you by first showing you this reception invitation sign. This sign is here to invite you and your adults to the first major artist reception of 2021. So, do you see this big gigantic banner here? We are outside the Petaluma Art Center where the Pianos of Petaluma Expo just finished their second of a six week run with an outside artist reception scheduled for the week number four, which is May 1st. The invitation video you are about to see was spontaneously cell phone shot and posted on Facebook by the Downtown Association's Marie McCusker last week, and I snagged it, I tagged it, and I bagged it. So, you wanna know more? Come with me. Oh my goodness. Is this a feast for the eyes or what? In 2007, 14 years ago, the first painted piano appeared on the streets of Petaluma, California, but it wasn't until 2011, 10 years ago, that local artists were recruited to paint more and more pianos sourced by Petaluma Pete. Over 60 artist painted pianos have cycled through the streets and storefronts of downtown Petaluma since then, some going to the landfill, others sold to lucky players with the money going to the Petaluma River Promenade organization, the new promotion arm of the nonprofit 501c3 Petaluma Living History Railway Museum. Most of the remaining artist painted pianos, over 40 in various stages of wear and tear, were taken off the streets and out of all the retail showroom windows when the pandemic hit. They were transported to a warehouse shared with the Petaluma Small Craft Center. While all these painted pianos were gathered together in the same room, it dawned on us what an incredible sight it was and how even more incredible it would be if they could be put on display. One of the artists who was still painting a piano happened to be Drake Cunningham who just so happens to be the chairman of the board of the Petaluma Arts Center, and the rest is history. Logically, one thing led to another, and the Petaluma River Promenade partnered with the Petaluma Arts Center, and together the two organizations opened April 1st with this Pianos of Petaluma Expo, featuring 45 of these unique, artistic, quirky to dead serious, artist-painted pianos. As a bonus, every artist who painted a piano over the years was invited to come to the party with samples of their other works to show and sell right there next to the pianos they painted. The end result is what you see here as Marie McCusker makes her way around the room and as Petaluma Pete bangs out the honky-tonk tunes on one of the longest suffering street pianos in the history of mankind. So, again, it's time to invite you to the party on May Day, Saturday, May 1st, when there will be an outside artist reception where we are all working on the creation of a backdrop to host some distinguished speakers that we are going to invite to say a few words about our Petaluma art community and our downtown enhancement needs, including Representative Lynn Woolsey, assistant to one of the artists who painted a piano, Amy Critchett, who also happens to be her daughter. We also invited Petaluma Mayor Teresa Barrett, who said she'll make it if she can, and of course, Petaluma Visitor Center and Petaluma Downtown Association Director, Marie McCusker, and Christopher Stevick. The inspiration for this Petaluma River Promenade, Trolley Museum, River Trestle Awareness Program in the first place, who will get up in front of the outside congregation to field any questions you may have about the Petaluma River Turning Basin Trestle renovation, and how we can all pull together to make it happen. Support and sponsorship through the years have included the Petaluma Music Festival, supporting music education in our schools, Fast Signs, who donated that gigantic banner and much more, Petaluma Grocery Outlet Bargain Market, Michael Bug Deacon, owner of Petaluma's Heritage Salvage Reclaimed Building Materials, Lagunitas Brewery, who was our very first sponsor three years ago, Clover Sonoma Dairy, the Bay Area's largest dairy producer, 
and, last but not least, the Petaluma Area Chamber of Commerce. They all contributed to the steady progress of the Petaluma River Promenade through the years to help keep the conversation alive about the need to restore our historic River Turning Basin trestle. You will also have the ability to fill out special ballots where you can choose what you think the first, second, and third place painted pianos should be, with an update of the standings from the previous four weeks as we head for the final day two weeks later on May 15th. The pianos, by the way, are also for sale, with funds generated going directly to the Petaluma River Promenade, Petaluma Trella Museum 501c3 nonprofit. We have done our research, and to our knowledge, there has never been an arts exhibit event like this one anywhere, ever. So join us on May 1st, and if you can't make it then, come on down to the Arts Center any Friday and Saturday up to May 15th. Either way, we'll see you there. Don't miss this one. It's, this is something else. This is beautiful. And I don't know you, I could do with some fun, and this has certainly brightened my my day or probably even my week at this point i think and uh, the amount of hard work that's gone into this is unbelievable feast for the eyes and certainly does something for the soul thank you Pedalma pete and the Pedalma art center and for all you wonderful wonderful artists that created these pianos come down here and sign this piano you get to sign so you've been here okay that's all from me see you soon